sorry, Yadia. We fell in love with each other at once. But she was already engaged to be married to Coco, a cheap tailor. I was devastated and left the town immediately, thinking that I would never return. But just a month ago, I heard some absolutely brilliant news. Coco has been condemned to death for flirting with another woman. So I've hurried back in order to find Yum Yum and marry her.
called upon to help any of you in a professional capacity, you'll be just as happy to let me serve you. No. 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 All might be lost. But never fear, I don't think there will be any difficulty in finding plenty of people whose loss will be a distinct gain to society. <laughs>
Bush this way. Of course, you won't be around to enjoy them, but they'll be quite just the same. Do you really think young Mary would miss me? Bless you, she's terribly tender hearted. She cried when her goldfish died. I'll be so easy to cause her pain. Perhaps I should just leave Japan, travel in Europe for a couple of years, try to forget about her. Oh, I don't think you could forget her. So easily to you. But what is more miserable than a life without love? True. Life without yum yum. Well, it seems absurd. I'll tell you how I will sort this out. You let me marry yum yum, and in a month you can chop off my head. No, no, no. I draw the line at yum yum. Very well, then. If you can draw the line, then so can I. Well, I mean, wait a minute. How can I agree to you marrying yum yum with I want to marry her myself? My dear fellow, she'll be a widow in a month. You can marry her then. Yeah, I hadn't thought of it like that. But my position for a month will be pretty unpleasant. Most unpleasant. Just as half as unpleasant as my position at the end of it. To me. Well, I agree. It just won't put you into my way. But for your month. Stop! Oh, thank you for your faith, this man. I've been searching for you everywhere. And now I've found you. Who is this person? This is Patricia, the woman I told you about. You fool. You thought you could get away with it. But you can't. You're going to marry me. Bigger is it. He's, a, he's, a, he's going to marry young yum. Don't you know who he is? Of course. He's a wandering minstrel. No, no. He's no one kind of different. He is. What horrible weather we're having today. <laughs> <laughs>
time and each day a year. At that rate, we've got about 30 years of passive married life to look forward to. And at that rate, this discussion has only lasted four or three quarters of an hour. I bet you get off to throw away any more time. <laughs>
Mm. I simply can't allow that. Why not? Why not? When you're under contract to start the hands of the law to executioner in a month's time, if you kill yourself now, what's to become of the law high executioner? I'll tell you what will happen to the law high executioner. The law high executioner will have to be killed in your place. And too young, the Hansons die. Oh, <laughs> that really is my problem. Look here, Lord Mayor, what you want. Can't you see I'm involved in a very difficult and complicated negotiation? The Cardo and his cargo approach into this city, and they will be here in, um, ten minutes. The Mikado! Oh, no, he's come to find out whether or not I've carried out his orders. Now, look, this is all getting very serious. A bargain is a bargain, and you really can't go against the law and commit suicide. There's a man of honor and a gentleman who are bound to die horribly and shamefully at the hands of the law. I execution her. Very well, then. Chop off my head.
Yeah. 
how we should sort this out. I think there's only one chance here, and we'd better do it pretty quickly. If you could persuade Kadish to marry you, then she would no longer need to marry me. <laughs> I marry Cassie Shop! I think there's the really only way out of this mess. But my good girl, you haven't seen her. She's so big up the pool. <laughs> <laughs>
she says that the thing be done, it is good as done. Practically, <coughs> it is done because your majesty's will is the law. If your majesty says kill a gentleman, a gentleman is taken off to be killed. That gentleman is practically dead, and if he is not dead, why not just say so? I see. Tell me if you be more satisfactory. A happy ending, I think. Don't you all like happy endings? Yes, your majesty!
thank you this evening. Um, first of all, a big thank you to you for coming. It also couldn't happen without you. And if you'd seen the dress rehearsal, you would have known. The one thing the children really needed more than anything else was an audience, didn't you? So should we give them a clap? Mrs. Proceedings, <laughs> turning the pages. <laughs> I might not do this one. <laughs> Maria, thank you very much. moment this afternoon when Mrs. Legnor said you can't go in the classroom and now I know why because they've all signed, they've all signed the programme that's absolutely lovely. Thank you very much indeed.